I'm Casey Wilcox, I'm the executive chef of Justine's, a French brasserie in Austin, Texas, and today we'll talk about mother sauces, which are the basis of a lot of French cooking. So there are five mother sauces, three of which are made with roux. A roux is a mixture of butter and flour that's used to thicken lots of the sauces. But let's go through all five. The first one is bechamel. It's a roux with milk added. Second is velouté, which is a roux with chicken stock. And the third is sauce espagnole, which is roux with brown stock, such as veal or beef, and it's finished with a little bit of tomato and parsley. The last two aren't made with roux at all, and they are tomato sauce and hollandaise. Tomato sauce is simply tomatoes simmered down with onions and garlic until it's a sauce-like consistency. And hollandaise is an emulsification made with thickened egg yolks and clarified butter. So today I'll demonstrate the making the velouté. We'll use equal parts of butter and flour. We don't need the pan to be super hot because we're just melting it. So once the butter is mostly melted, we'll add an equal amount of flour. We cook the flour so that it has the ability to kind of thicken the sauce better. If it's a raw flour, it wants to clump and also kind of loses a little bit of its thickening power. For this sauce and for the bechamel sauce, we're gonna make what's known as a blonde roux, where the flour has just started to cook and take on a little bit of color. For a sauce like the espanol or like a gumbo, you'll make a dark roux because as the flour browns, it gives off a nutty flavor that's characteristic of both of those things. Once you have the light brown color, you'll take your stock. So we'll add a little bit at a time so that we can work it all together well. We want to add the stock at the same temperature as the roux. It helps prevent splattering and also stops it from dropping very quickly in temperature. Once we've incorporated some stock into the roux, we can go ahead and use the whisk to finish it up and leave us um, with no lumps as we add the last bit of the stock. If you thicken a sauce with roux, it will continue to thicken as you boil it. If you thicken a sauce with cornstarch, which is another method, once it's boiled, it's done. It won't thicken anymore unless you're just reducing it. We have what is a basic velouté, pretty simple. This is a mother sauce. Mother sauces are intended to be the base of something else. We can use it for a sauce for chicken as we would today, but we're gonna wanna dress it up a little bit. So today we're gonna add some capers, some mustard, and the juice of a lemon to brighten it up. So since the sauce is made with a chicken stock, today we'll use it on some chicken and a bit of the sauce. Make sure we get some capers in there. And we can just garnish with a little bit of parsley. So this is a classic blue with a couple of variations, which is what we do with all the mother sauces. And I'm Casey Wilcox for Co-op Stronger Together. <laughs>